I'm not sitting and thinking about every piece I'm doing or I'm painting. I'm thinking about the people, I'm thinking about the initiative, I'm thinking about what this will do, the ripple effect, like all that's beyond the act, you know, and how it will impact people. So it flows, sometimes I've said, you know, I paint and it flows from my heart through my hand and bypasses this, you know. And so that's really where it's all coming from. So the gallery that you're seeing of visual expression is a work of, it's a labor of love and a work of heart. So that's, that's why Cardia is what it is. I value every person I meet, uh, every moment I have of interaction, and every place I've been, uh, including the initiatives that are in, in that moment. Uh, they're a huge inspiration and, in turn, expression. My name is Jennifer Awad and my training is in the arts, basically. I have interior design in my background, painting for 10 years. Now I'm studying art therapy. Tonight is a really exciting night because we're having our uh, senior seminar exhibit called Identify. I've been working with some students that are going to be showcasing their work tonight. You know, I'm really passionate about bringing up artists or creativity in someone, helping them unlock the artist in them. So watching them grow like that was really exciting from a technical standpoint and from an emotional standpoint. I have to find myself, so I'm sitting to find myself. It's a journey, but I know it's, it's going to happen. So every single person kind of expressed their own interpretation of identity. And it was just sort of about me like finding like inner peace with like who I am right now and pretty much just loving life. It talks about like all my experiences, what I love. I love art and I'm doing it. I'm in school and pencil represents poetry, which is a big part of my life right now. And it's just like amazing going through like experiences where you get to meet really, really cool people who love art. At the core of everything I do is voice the voice of art, the power of art, and the compassion of art. And so, you know, they're all finding their voice, they're all seeing and watching the power of it impact other people. And then the compassion of art is um, to have someone come alongside them and help, you know, kind of nurture that and develop that in them. Usually when you draw, you're like isolated, you know, it's just you and then in the paper. You know, you're putting your thoughts, your emotions onto the paper. So if you're angry, about something and then you're like, you start to draw, that automatically is gonna like calm you down, so therefore it's like therapy for you. And I think Jen knew that and it's gonna be really beneficial. They came in with an idea of just wanting to be a part of something that's creative, but in doing that and giving them the parameters that I was giving them to work with, it was challenging for them because it hit certain points of insecurity, which all of us deal with. I've been through a lot of things and instead of, you know, lashing out at people or just like, I guess, handling it a bad way, I just go to art. Being able to come up here every Tuesday and Thursday on this art floor and like paint my way out of it or draw or just like, you know, be around my friends who are very creative, like it helps me out a lot, like not really worry about everything that's going on. I was commissioned by One Free World International to uh, come up with a series of paintings uh, to represent the human rights violations and injustices happening in Afghanistan. You know, I painted a series that spoke to women's rights and children being trafficked in the sex trade industry and then like minorities that are being persecuted for their choice. It was a really great challenge, but it was, it was seeing their faces in my mind, hear, having read about their stories, real life cases that kept me going and kept me on track with what I was expressing. That is purpose, that is calling, that is everything. Voice, power, and, and compassion of art coming together. And to see that come together and to be a part of that is an absolute honor. You just never know what's around the corner. You never know who the next person you're gonna meet and what that all will open up for you. And so I'm loving the adventure of discovering the path one step at a time. So I wanna make a difference, you know, use my voice artistically, visually, to impact people and inspire them.